you know, um, I have to say probably from my side, my mother had a big impact on my life as a young person because I, I just I just had a lot of respect for her. And she, you know, she grew up in a, um, she had to stay in an orphanage when she was like 10, 11, 12 years old. Once you get to 13 back then, you couldn't be in the orphanage anymore. You had to go leave and go to work or something. But her father died at an early age and she had a lot of brothers and sisters and her mom couldn't take care of all of them. So she turned two other younger ones, they went to the orphanage for a few years. Right. And so out of that, she never went back, to, she went to high school and then she just started working in the grocery stores and helping and that's how she ended up meeting my dad kind of, you know, at work when they were young. So, but she always was um, the one who was, I remember one time I decided, I was like, I don't know, 14 or something like that, and I decided I was going to run away. I just tired of all the bullshit, so I was tired of hearing my dad, yeah, 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 and all this stuff. I said, I'm gone. And I didn't mind, because I, I used to wander a lot anyway, so I wasn't afraid of going out on the streets. Because I could always run and nobody could catch me, so I figured I could always get out of trouble. <clears throat> and so I'm sneaking around downstairs, and I'm getting all stuff together. Then my mother gets up, and she comes down. And she says, what are you doing? I said, I'm, I'm leaving, you know? I'm just, I'm, I gotta go, I'm, I'm running away. She said, well, let me fix you a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I went, oh, maybe I won't go. <laughs> just like, wow. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I thought it was pretty, pretty good. Funny. Huh? That's and it's, pretty good. Yeah, and it's like, um, um, I remember John Wooden telling a story about Bill Walton. And you probably heard this one. No, I'm good. Well, he was, um, you know, in the he was at UCLA, and he was going to rebel, and he was growing his, wanting to grow his hair, wanting to grow a beard, and all this stuff. You know, this is during the early '70s, so you get all protests and you, University of Southern California, you know, what they're doing. So he comes in. John Wood said, "There's no facial hair, and you got to keep your hair cut decent." So John Walton came in and says, "Coach, I want to." You know, I don't think it's right, my self-expression and, you know, all this stuff. I want to be able to grow a beard. And John Wooden looked at him, and, of course, Walton's a pretty good player on his team. And Wooden says, well, I respect that, Bill, and we'll miss you. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? Put it right on his ass. He shaved his beard. He went along with the program. <laughs> I agree with you, Bill, and we'll miss you. <laughs> Which is a great story. Yeah, you know, in just a few words, yeah. it gets the message across. <laughs> and that's what the really, that's a good man. Yeah. Somebody that can be just like that, figure it out, say, oh, that's the way it is, and not worry about, well, am I going to lose my best guy, and blah, blah, blah. Just say, hey, this is the rule. You don't like it? We'll get along without you. 